Oh, boo hoo hoo, boo hoo hoo. Now, everybody was telling me, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. We're going to $100,000. We're going to a million dollars by 2020. We're going to Pluto. We're going to the moon. We're going to Jupiter. That's what they were saying years ago. Right now, they ain't saying that too much. Sam Bankman, Freud, Fried, Freed, whatever. He's in jail right now. Uh, Alex Mashinsky of Celsius, he in jail right now. And now, oh, oh man, look at the crypto market. This is live, by the way. As I'm making this video, you're seeing exactly what's happening at 4.29, 4.30 p.m. right now. This is live. So um, Bitcoin tried to hold that 37, but it, it's not doing too well. I think it's on its way down. So basically, the news just announced that... Uh, Sam bankrupt frauds, basic his opponent, his 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 Chinese mastermind cyber villain opponent, he's going down too. So this is Bitcoin and BNB token stage relief rallies on Binance settlement news. Crypto exchange Binance could reportedly soon be paying four billion dollars to settle multiple U.S. criminal charges, according to Bloomberg. So this is a settlement. For Cheng Peng Zhao, a major overhang over the crypto market, whether the world's largest crypto exchange might soon be put out of business, might soon be going away. So they're saying that based on this settlement, that there's a possibility that uh, Binance might still be around, but there's also a po huge possibility it could go out of business. Because, see, what you got to understand, when, when, when the market sees that crypto is currently and constantly under siege by the government, and there's always somebody being locked up for fraud, and there's always money just disappearing, the average consumer ain't betting on no damn crypto. They're not gambling on no damn crypto. Now, there's these people who don't like to use the word gambling. They want to make it seem like this shit is like a worthwhile asset, which it's not. And they want to use the word, oh, investing. This is not investing. When you invest something, it actually does something. It doesn't just sit there. An investment moves. An investment earns dividends. If you are not earning dividends on your quote-unquote investments, then you're just gambling. But these people who gambled on Binance, oh boy, they, a lot of them, are pulling out. Because at this, I think at this point they realize, we ain't going to the moon. We ain't going to Jupiter. We ain't going to Pluto. Kind of like, you know, AMC and GameStop who, you know, of all the people in the hoopla, there was one person you know who was telling you with that AMC bullshit and that Reddit uh, ape nonsense and I was like, yo, stay away from that shit. Keep your money out of it, right? Now look at them. Lost all that goddamn money. GameStop did like a stock split. I think AMC did too. Lost all that damn money. Lost all that damn money. The whole government turned on you. The whole government. They paused the markets. Oh, you're not allowed to withdraw right now. How about that? The whole government turned on you. But I saw it coming. I saw it coming. So... Long story short, uh, yeah, according to Bloomberg, Binance's by months in might be paying $4 billion to make multiple criminal charges in the U.S. go away. Importantly, however, the settlement would allow the exchange to continue operations. Now, there are other exchanges, like, for instance, you can get crypto and stuff on Coinbase. But the interesting thing to me about that is people don't want Coinbase. See, when I heard originally that there was a specter of money laundering in relation to cryptocurrency, I knew right away that this shit wasn't going nowhere. Because the reality is, if it's possible to launder money, the government's going to be all over you. They're going to be all over these things. Now, let's ignore the fact that Sam Bankrupt Fraud was using crypto in order to basically funnel money to the Democrats and also to, funny money, to basically funnel money over there to Ukraine. Let's ignore that for a second. But the simple fact is, when I heard that they were doing money laundering with this shit, and they were, you know, financing terrorism and sending money to Russia and all that, I was like, yeah, this is this is done. 
This is done. If if it can be done, the government's going to be, the IRS is going to be all over you. What is it called? A 1099K form that you got to file? It was like, nah, this, this was never going anywhere. And all them people who bought in over 50,000, Naive Bukele, El Salvador, Elon Musk, all you who bought in when it was over 50, we going to 100,000. We going to the moon. Nah, nah, you ain't ever going to no damn moon. The moon going to be right up there without you on it. You're going to be right here. You know how far away the moon is? I believe at its uh, apogee, it's like 300,000 kilometers. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, 300,000 kilometers away or something. You ain't getting on no goddamn moon. You must be out of your damn mind. You're going to be stuck right here. Look at this. Look at this. I'm getting these announcements. Look at this. NVIDIA earnings crush Wall Street estimates again. Company tempers China outlook. So as long as China doesn't do anything crazy like, you know, invading Taiwan or anything, we going to keep making this money. We going to Mars. We going to Jupiter. We go to Pluto! What is this? NVIDIA reported third quarter earnings after the bell on Tuesday that topped Wall Street's expectations. I tried to tell them. I tried to tell them. I gave them free game, Lord. I tried to tell them. They're selling $1,900 graphics cards to kids from college who claim they're broke so that they can sit down and play Counter-Strike. So that they can play a 20-year-old $2 game on Steam. They're selling graphics cards so you can run the, the graphics in 400 frames per second. They're selling graphics cards to people to play Cyberpunk. And to play, uh, 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 what, what is it called? Um, what's that game called? Um, that new game. Uh, something about being in space. I don't know. Skywatch or something like that. Uh, Jedi Survivor. And they, they, they selling these kids three and four thousand dollar computer. I got I got two cousins. And I'm, I'm gonna get I said I wasn't gonna make this long. I got two cousins who bought laptops worth three thousand dollars and desktops worth three thousand dollars. In fact, one of my cousins spent even more. He bought a goddamn pair of headphones for sixteen hundred dollars. These kids got money. They're spending money out their ass on this stuff. They got this stuff, these video game chips. They got this stuff in Nintendo DS and Switch and all this and PS5 and Xbox. This. I told you. They got these chips in the seats in your car. Heated and cooled massage seats with chips in them. They got chips. But y'all want to vote on some goddamn Dodge coin? I tried to tell them, Lord. I tried to tell them. I tried. I tried my best. I tried to tell them. But they wanted to invest in XRP. Where, 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 where's that XRP right now? Huh? What, 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 what's XRP? Let's see. XRP. Uh, pri where, where's that? Where's that? Because I was hearing... That there was supposed to be some type of rally after the split decision on their judgment. Oh, it's at US 60 cents. Meanwhile, my NVIDIA stock is lighting fires. $500 a share. Lord, I tried to tell them, but they wanted to go to the moon. They wanted to go to Mars. They wanted to go to Jupiter!